Thank you, Rewire, for having us. It's great to be here. It's amazing to be here. Um, just a little bit of background information that these songs are actually connected to a narrative from my eighth birthday party. You have to imagine that my mother's birthday is three days before mine, and she invited all of her artist friends and colleagues from the art university and students of, of the art school and I invited about seven or eight of my closest friends. I take a water. And um, something that I really remember from this time was the things that was intimidating for my mother, which were the parents of my friends. It was a competitive thing. And they were there for a little bit of the party. And for me, the most intimidating thing was this uh, performance artist called Trancosi. Mm. The final image at this party was that my mother answered the door to the parents that were picking up my friend the next morning. She had a black eye. That wasn't there the day before. Just at the same moment, Trancosi walked past with a baby's pram, filling the pram with empty beer bottles. And Evelyn came out of the bushes. Evelyn is my grandmother. She had been in the bushes the whole night. I knew why my mother looked like that. And I knew why Evelyn looked like that. I knew why Trancosi looked like that. He's a performance artist. But I didn't know why the parents were looking like that. They just held on to their children and they just backed away one step at a time. Not saying a word, just viewing one image of us. This last song was inspired by my grandmother. And the next song is inspired by Trancosi, the performance artist. He used to linger in the bushes 
and in the shadow of the bushes. And I was very afraid of the bushes before the darkness for the unknown. And he had tattoos from head to foot of a dragon going up from the feet to over his bald head. He had an undershot jaw and unusually long bottom teeth that stuck forward and out, and they were gold. And he was always holding a baby. The fact that he was in these bushes that I was afraid of told me something. And he started to walk towards me, smiling. And I walked towards him. And then I just kicked him in the shin, shoe to bone. I think I really hurt him. He stumbled backwards, thrashing against the pain, his glasses losing position, transforming his face into complete disorientation. I think I really hurt him. I feel quite bad. I was always taught to be curious about what makes me feel uncomfortable. Maybe I was too curious here.
All right. So. <laughs> Um, now, so, okay, this was it. So, that was Trancosi, and at this moment, I was standing in the garden, and then TJ, uh, Evelyn circled me, my grandmother, I always call her Evelyn, and she collapsed on the grass in front of me. And then all of the students suddenly started to shout, roll they drunk, roll they drunk. She liked her whiskey. Roll they drunk, roll they drunk, roll they drunk. So I started to roll my grandma up the garden. Just at that moment, TJ, my granddad, started to roll the bins out through the middle of the party, not saying hello to anybody. I tried to see around TJ, and the next thing I see is Evelyn rolling off into the holly bushes. Then, I hear this. Genevieve, we saw a maniac! Apparently, Trancosi ran out from under the bushes, naked, holding two umbrellas like daggers, running like a crab, chasing my friends around the garden. My mum started screaming, he's an artist, he's an artist, it's just a performance, just a performance. This was his performance. Living emotions in a closed circuit. Self-sustaining and self-reinforcing. Blind, deaf, nerveless, moveless. Response to touch, to sun, to light. The earth around the roots cannot be understood by a human's ego. You heard me. Let's go. Not understanding our rootless existence, the forest avoids us without much resistance. If numb is a feeling, if tranquility is screaming, it tells us we are weaving through social healing. Roots are forming, social media is warming to the instincts of aloneness in a connected world. Not understanding our rootless existence, the forest avoids us without much resistance. Six. 
existence, the forest fears, our unsettled persistence, after all these years. I want to introduce the band. So, this is John Dykeman on the saxophones. This is Henning Luther on the drums. Yeah. This is Andy Moore on the guitars. And this is Marta Varelis on the synthesizers. Okay, the next one is for the dance competition. So, I used to win every dance competition at birthday parties. I had cracked the code. And now it's my birthday. I have an unbeatable routine that has been winning every dance competition at birthday parties.
I didn't win the dance competition, actually, that time. That's why I remember it, because that never happened before. So it was time for bed, and my mum laid out all the beds next to one another. And then gradually, just really gently, a spider landed onto my sleeping bag. Did you see that? Sinead and I ran into the guest room. Sinead popped her head back out. It was dark out there. There were speckles all over the floor. She put her head back in. She said, there's millions of them out there. So Joanna, brave, wades through the oceans of spiders and knocks on my mum's door. And my mum answers the door, but Joanna is not quite patient enough and pushes the door and it smacks my mum straight in the face. So my mum hobbles through, covering up her eye, but she manages to find the spider. She puts it in a jar. She says, now, come on, look. For them to fear us We must grant to be just For in less than a moment We tread them to dust But certainly we have no cause for alarm For were they to try They can do us no harm For them to fear us We must grant to be just For in less than a moment We tread them to dust But certainly we Have no cause for alarm for were they to try They can do us no harm For them to fear us We must grant to be just For in less than a moment We tread them to dust But certainly we Have no cause for alarm For were they to try can do us no harm and grant to be just 
for in less than a moment you tread me to dust and certainly you have no cause for alarm for were I to try I can do you no harm for me to fear you you must grant to be just for in less than a moment you tread me to dust and certainly you have no cause for alarm for were I to try I can do you no harm Thank you so much.